All right, let's do this. All right, so uh, I am a uh, former panelist for what was known as the DEF CON Comedy Jam, otherwise affectionately known as the Fail Panel. Um, this is not the Fail Panel. It's really close, though. So uh, the fail panel went away. Uh, we decided it was time for it to go away, but I wanted to carry the torch. Uh, so uh, now the panelist has become the moderator, hence Inception. We're working towards Inception. We've gone one level deep. Okay, so and panelist is now the moderator. And we've got a bunch of folks uh, that, that I thought when, when I yes. was going to submit the CFP that would make some really great part uh, of the, the resurrected, uh, formerly what was known as the fail panel, uh, now the DEF CON comedy inception. We'll see what we start calling this potentially as we go through. Um, but we're going to have lots of fun. Uh, not much has <laughs> changed. Uh, we're here to poke fun at the industry, poke fun at ourselves, um, and troll everyone while we're here. So, uh, to my right, in no particular order, uh, we have Dan Tentler. <laughs> Amanda Berlin. Chris Her Sistrunk. Name. Not yet. <laughs> Chris Sistrunk, not, not yet, not right? Yet. Okay. Uh, Chris Blow. Yay! Will Ill Will Genovese. <laughs> and yours truly, Larry Pesci. Now, there are a couple of our panelists that this is their first time on stage at DEF CON. So it's time to drink. Okay. Working on it. Cyber. <laughs> I brought the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's like that, huh? All right. I want to have that. <laughs> Into the mic, Amanda. Into the, Into mic. the mic. Remember. <laughs> Amanda. Into the mic, right? All right. Okay. Yeah, just get it close like, to your face, just like at the rest area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Chris, Amanda, Will, and Chris. Well, because technically you spoke earlier at this con, but this is the first time here, so. Drink up. Dan, would you be so kind as to pass those down? <laughs> now, see, uh, I wouldn't ask you guys to do anything that I wouldn't do, and we'll get back to that, okay? Oh, so. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. To fail. This is going first, still. Oh, that's a different alcohol. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Okay, so oh, while yeah, we're here, uh, we're going to be solicitating, uh, solicitating, yeah, soliciting donations for charity. Okay, um, and, and who's, in who's charity? Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Charity. Which charity? Who's charity? Who's, who's charity? Who's, who's, no, no, charity's out on the strip somewhere soliciting already. Okay. Next up to the stage, Amber. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, in previous iterations of this panel, uh, we've made waffles on stage and all sorts of other shenanigans. But we wanted to come up with something different because we're in fact different. Uh, so we are in fact doing hot sauce tasting for charity. Um, I've got two varieties of hot sauce. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, uh, so consider that that we're going to do hot sauce tasting for charity. Please, if, if you're going to try some hot sauce, you, donate something for charity. But some of the stuff is really hot. Consider the value of the antidote. Okay, if you can't handle it, won't it help. we've got four <laughs> gallons of milk and four loaves of bread. Okay, so we've got you covered. Okay, now that said. I won't ask you guys to do anything I wouldn't do. All right, so we, when we initially talked about doing this panel, uh, we talked about doing donations for uh, the Electronic Foundation, uh, Frontier Foundation and Hackers for Charity. Um, as panel, as, as moderator, I, we've changed our mind and I made the executive decision a little bit earlier. Um, so we, we've changed the charity that we're gonna donate to. Um, how many of you guys know this guy? Okay. This is uh, DJ Rance. Uh, he's been in our community for many years. DJ, he does uh, lots, of, uh, lots of fun things for us on stage, uh, spinning all sorts of music. And he absolutely loves this community. And in fact, the community loves him. Um, Rance, are you here? No. No? Well, that's okay, because I talked to uh, DJ Rance last night. Um, and uh, we're... Um, Rance is in an interesting position. 
Um, I, I would consider Rance uh, a good friend, even though I don't know him that well, uh, just because he's a member of our family uh, as hackers. Uh, and uh, Rance was recently uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, he's undergoing multiple rounds of chemo. I, I talked to Rance, he says this is okay to say, to say, because um, the environment is all about learning and sharing information. He puts it that this is just sharing a different kind of information. Uh, so Rance has been diagnosed uh, with pancreatic cancer, uh, and as some of you may know, that this is often a, uh, a death sentence. Um, there are people that do survive, um, and we really hope that Rance is, is one of those people. Uh, so in honor of all that Rance does for our community and to show our love for, for DJ Rance, um, we are going to, in fact, collect donations uh, for pancan.org, the Pancreatic Cancer Research Network. Uh, I've done some work for these folks in the past, uh, and they uh, work with all of our um, legal folks and all of our other charitable our organizations to uh, help fund uh, pancreatic cancer research uh, and or some either cure or some ability to prolong and or better the life for those who have been diagnosed. Uh, so I, I hate to bring this uh, on a downer right to begin with, um, but we really do uh, love Rants, uh, you know, me per personally, um, and no, not like that, okay? <laughs> Except for that one time at DerbyCon when he gave me my first uh, ever um, white Russian made in a hotel room. Uh, so, you know, Rance, you know, this one's for you, buddy. All right, so here's the blanket statement. Tasting this hot sauce is at your own risk. I'm not going to make you sign a waiver. Don't be dumb, please. This stuff is hot. We have one that is a ridiculous amount of Scoville units. We have toothpicks. Why? Because some of these you may want just a little, okay? And then again, I said I wouldn't ask you guys to do anything that I wouldn't do myself, so bear with me for one second. Here's where you guys can turn me, right? <laughs> Don't die. Don't die, bro. Don't die, bro. All right, so we have two versions of hot sauce. This is uh, homemade green zombie hot sauce from uh, our garden last season made from green tomatoes, as well as a bunch of other secret stuff. <laughs> this is the hot one. <laughs> I figures I should have opened the toothpicks first, right? Don't spill it, bro. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Hey, I fucked that up. Yes. <laughs> no, that's the other one. All right. Audience so. participation. Stick your dick in it. That's the not hot one. You can ding, you can ding that whenever you want. That's the not hot one. Okay. It will ding you all day. I'm like, I can't remember the character's name. What's his name? That doesn't help. Okay. Breaking Bad. Jesse oh, oh, no, the dude with the bell. Oh, the dude Hector. with the bell yeah, from Hector. Yeah. Hector. Yeah. Hector. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So, this is the really hot one. You will note, this is the cap. This is not the bottle. Yeah, there's a little bit on there, Dan. There's some on there, right? I think there needs to be more. It's just the tip. Oh, this stuff. Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good. And for those of you that but don't know, Dan makes yeah. his own so, uh, pepper stuff that's amazing. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that's good. This is ha. Huh. This is not fuck around hot. Sauce. Yeah, this is. Oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the top back on that. So by the way, yeah, uh, if you get that stuff on your hands, don't touch your private areas. <laughs> Or do. Unless you're like oh, adventure. Or <laughs> anyone else's Unless for that matter. That Unless thing. you hate them. We don't judge. Yeah, we, we don't judge. We but, don't judge. We just okay. film. All right. <laughs> but if you do, let us know. <laughs> Whew. Let me get my camera first. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's time for the kick. So we can go get started with all this fun stuff and hopefully get you guys to, to laugh. Don't forget to drink. And uh, while these guys are starting to talk, uh, I'm going to get the hot sauce and all the other fun stuff ready for you guys. So I'll be down on the far end of the stage uh, and have a place for you guys to, to give us some donations uh, and try some hot sauce and, and have a good time. So with that, let's get in the van. Let's go get ready to jump off the bridge. And who wants to go first? I think we elected Dan. 
to go first? We think we elected Dan to go first. Yeah. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> nope. What, what am I pouring into this? Uh, you piss? You're piss. I don't care. <laughs> it's that kind of party. Uh, yeah. If I had known it was going to be that kind of party, I'd stuck my dick in the mashed potatoes. Put this in your mouth. Pay attention. Oh, fucking whatever. Jesus. All right, so Dan, I guess you're up. All right. Um, I need a monitor hook up, and I need to get my laptop. You're, you're coming up here, buddy. He is vastly underprepared. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Did we neglect to tell you that? Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Somebody else can go first. Right? Don't fuck it up. Oh, I plan on it. <laughs> oh, so Dan, like, did you not know we were doing like a panel and stuff that like, you need a laptop for? <laughs> this is the part where we troll you. Good luck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Amanda, what is this pink thing you have in front of you? Higher, higher. What, this? Yeah, that. This is my sexist band hammer of doom. Do I want to know? With, there's, there's a vulva on one side and a dick on the other. You can, you can be knighted as sexist. You can be knighted as sexist. Will's going to be knighted in 30 seconds. Hey! I actually found this at Gurkhan in the hotel room when we checked in. <laughs> it's, it it's made it through four cons. Was it decorated as such? It was, it was not. I'm pretty sure I just ruined some little girl's something. <laughs> Her pretty, pretty princess. Hammer. But now it's my pretty, pretty princess hammer. <laughs> with, a, with a dong and a vulva. Which are both pierced. Yes. There's a lot more detail on that vulva than there is on the dong. There is. The vein, the vein work is nice, though. The vein work is nice. Uh, it's very, very does crooked. It does it work? <laughs> It, does it does it do it? Is that the shit really? Yeah, good? yeah it is. Yep. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. See, the vein was. You got why this. me first? Okay. This is gonna be the best transcript. <laughs> I hope ever. all your people brought helmets because you're gonna need them. I'm gonna do my best to channel George Carlin. 150. Right? Holy fuck. Anybody go to Bruce Potter's talk this morning? No. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be that. Um. So yeah, so Larry comes to me a while ago and he says, we want you all on this panel. And I'm like, all right, cool, what's a panel? And he says, it's a fail panel. And I said, oh, I have the perfect thing. So for folks that um, aren't aware of the research I've done, which I suspect almost everyone in the room, um, I have made a habitual problem of going and finding stupid bullshit on the internet um, that shouldn't be on the internet and uh, ranting about it at conferences for something like the last three or four years. It'll happen. <laughs> it's DEF CON, whatever. That's why I came in with a mask and stuff, right? Um, right, so uh, over the last four years or so, I've done a series of talks at a, various, a, ver a variety of different conferences um, where uh, I poke fun at the different things I found connected to the internet. And believe me, there are things online that you, you will do the whole like Jackie Chan, what the fuck meme face <laughs> over and over and over again. So the title of my component of this panel is literally 115 batches stupid things you can put on the internet and as fast as I can go, somebody get me a drink with your host, me. About me, nobody cares. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. So, big question. If, we, if there can be a thing and you can put a web server on the thing, should you put a web server on the thing? Yes. yes. <laughs> Let me introduce you to tonight's fucking mascot. Totes my goats. <laughs> Should you put a web server on the thing? Totes my goats. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. So, um, some of you may remember my 2014 Twitter rampage pirate ninja baby command about 9001 when I did at DEF CON 20, um, my fire hose showdown talk where I basically did stuff like this. We'll just get right into it. So why the fuck is a TV station online and I can get to it? Why would you give me control of a fucking television station? Why would you do that? Who is high and why aren't they sharing? Something German. I don't know. It's VNC. What the fuck? Drink. Windows CE. Wow. Why? Yes. What are you doing? Does that, does that say washing? That's my stuff. <laughs> Take it off the fucking internet. Oh my God, asterisk. Anybody want to make some phone calls? I bet we can get, guess the password. Or, fuck it, let's fuck with Korea, right? They're generating power. Let's go fuck with those guys. <laughs> that's not my stuff. Right? You know, press some buttons, I'm watch the that's news. South Korea. Why not, right? Oh, look, it's a really fucking boring Mac desktop on VNC. Oh, who gives a fuck? What that's my Mac. Finding? What a, a Mac desktop. Fuck. Oh, wait a minute. 
I wasn't the first one here. <laughs> um, I wasn't the first one here either, but it looks like you can get some SSH keys off of this guy. That's kind of cool. Chinac BJNY2 host 03 source. Oh, hey, that's fun. Anybody been to the dentist lately? Because we can go back. We can learn things about drilling people in the skull. Um, you can write some Python if you feel like it. You know, if that's, if that's your thing. I write lots of Python. Really, really angry Python that makes real developers upset. Um, this just hurt my face. I don't know what to say about it. What I can't speak fuck? the language. Why? All right. VNC, that's cool. There's some... What? Love stage. Where? Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Apparently, I can't read. Is this not CSI Cyber? I, I got it. CSI Whatever. Cyber. I don't know. My, my brain is melting. I'm going to go. <laughs> Second column, third one down. Love stage. Love stage. Bang, bang. <laughs> well caught. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should we usurp the mascot? <laughs> That's what she said? Yeah. Um, you can go to college here if you want. 702, believe, um, actually 702 is this area code, isn't it? <laughs> Shit, I didn't notice that before. 702 is uh, Las Vegas. That may Dude, also be fine. the love stage, bang, bang. Right? <laughs> Anybody know what happens if skate equipment takes a selfie? Correct. Might, might look like that, maybe, right? A picture of the building in which the skate system exists? Fucking awesome, now I can just find it on Google Maps. Make those guys shit their pants. Look, another host on the same college. Why? Would, this one was lonely. Um, Aww, HTTP aw. load testers. All right, that's cool. Give the public access to test things. <laughs> HTTP server Bing. This thing is pre-configured to denial of service Bing. Well done. Good job. Um, I mean, don't they do that themselves already? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can find solar bullshits on the internet. Why? I mean, this could be cool. I'm not sure. I haven't spent a lot of time playing with it, but grain silos seem kind of, kind of fun. Like, isn't that wait, something wait, that did you say you didn't spend a lot public? of time playing with it? Oh, yeah. Probably way too much. Many, many, many mornings until 5 a.m. Um, but this guy probably spent a lot more time playing with it, like setting up MATLAB to track sports ball. Okay. That's cool. However, if you travel to Sydney anytime in the future, there's a dessert place I can recommend. <laughs> Oh, there's another place you can buy some squid. That's cool. Squid on the internet. Why is there fucking squid on the internet? Oh shit, that's right. The fucking love. The, oh god, what was that? Oh my god, amazing. You guys are amazing. This is good. Crowdsourcing the fuckery. Um, if you want to buy some avocados, I know a place. Um, or if you want to really piss off some dude. Uh, <laughs> Right? So, <laughs> this goes on for there longer are There are certain times I wouldn't want the lights to automatically come on. <laughs> Dude, some of these buttons are ridiculous. Like, he's got a guest room and a TV room and a game room and a hearth. Oh. I want those problems. Yeah, I guess, what is that, like a chest of drawers? Why would you automate it? Oh, oh, even better, a fireplace on the internet. That's fucking smart. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. So, okay, so full disclosure. Who knows Dave Maynard? Dave Maynard? Dude, you're right Yeah, okay, yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, shit, one guy. <laughs> so me and that guy and Dave Maynard had what we called a showdown race on the internet uh, either earlier this year or like late last year. I forget. It was a while ago. Um, where, <laughs> and you're going to love this, uh, and, and, um, who is it? CSI Cyber, their Twitter account, posited a question to the Twitterverse asking, can you set a fire using the internet? To which several of us, no shit, jumped out of our chairs and said, I'll take that fucking challenge. <laughs> like, really? Challenge accepted. And then we, we began basically a Twitter race where we found for the next like three hours just the most batshit random crap you could find. We were using Shodan at the time. Uh, which, by the way, if, if John is here, everybody should point to John and tell him how amazing he is because without him, we wouldn't be able to do half of this stuff. Yes. Um, so Woo! yeah, yay John Matherly. Um Hey, yeah, so good, Dan, I'm gonna interrupt. Don't forget, we've got hot sauce dish. up here, and uh, we're, we're taking. Yeah, don't stick your dick in it, you please. You can, because if you stick your dick I in it, I will pay you. You've got to eat all of it. Okay. They should. John should have just named it Show Dan Tentler. <laughs> <laughs> right? People, people so think that I'm the guy that made it because I'm Dan, and it's Show Dan, and they just sort of put two and two together. And I have to tell them calmly, like, no, I'm, I'm, I wish I was that 
clever with the code. I just make people like Paul M. angry. <laughs> I hear collusion and there's evil things happening. But I'm going to keep going. And really, if you want to give us money still, you don't have to have hot sauce. I have a saying. suspicion. It's I, not really giving us money. No, no, no. I mean, well, you can you give a man money rant, if you, you want. You can give me all your money also, but... We should, we should invest in Rance's cyber pancreas. Yes. Cyber right? Pancreas. Let's buy a cyber pancreas. And on that note, here's a cyber car wash. <laughs> Why? Why? All right, that's cool. Oil tanks, that's great. Yeah. That's fucking smart. Somebody sat down and decided, I need my oil tanks on the internet. It's the future. This is, this is how it must be. Um, who knows where Ride Pier <laughs> is? Anybody? I don't know. I didn't look it up. But apparently there's substations on the internet. That's cool. Ride Pier. I don't Peter, think it's electrical. <laughs> this one I've posted before. Does anybody remember this one? The friendliest skater on the internet. This is a, um, this is a caviar. caviar cannery that I think it's in Sweden. And this one made news in Sweden and in other various components of England. Not England, sorry, Europe. Sorry, Engl England, Europe, same thing, whatever. <laughs> I only have two firing neurons, and they're making me drink. Ma <laughs> You're behind. <laughs> so yes, fun times. Uh oh. <laughs> this one? <laughs> Stick around, it'll be good. We'll make sure it stays warm for you. Yeah. Just stay up all the bottom. Any, can anybody read what I think is Swedish? Because all I hear is like bork, 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 bork. <laughs> um, it's something. It involves temperatures and pumps. That's cool. Yeah. This, is this is cooler though. It's a coal mine. Why would you? Why? Why would you let me play with a coal mine? <laughs> What's better than playing with coal mines? I can think of a lot of things better than playing Potato with technology. <laughs> this was told to me, actually, so this was part of my, like, Pirate Baby Cabana Battle 2014 crazy batshit rage-fueled silliness on Twitter. After my panel with Paul M. and Irata Rob last year, um, we scanned the internet live on stage, and we had, like, 36,000 JPEGs of random crap we found on VNC, and then I spent four days going through all 36,000 photos and picking out the interesting stuff and flinging it onto Twitter, and it got a lot of attention. This was one of them, and I had no idea what it was until some random on Twitter told me, that's um, actually potato um, climate control. I can count the potato! <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can be very comfortable counting the potato, <laughs> right? Um, so here's an Italian hydroelectric plant that's generating something. One point. I don't speak gigawatts. Italian, sadly, but um, there's one line there that says it's generated 1,087 kilowatt hours, which is a megawatt, if I'm not mistaken. Um, One point twenty-one gigawatts. Almost. That's One point oh eight seven gigawatts. Sorry. Giga giga. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean to steal your thunder. Um, <laughs> this one is kind of the same thing, uh, but this is in Swedish, I think, Swedish or maybe Dutch. Um, uh, looks like an electrical relay station. Same kind of deal. Why in the fuck would you let me into your electrical relay station over the internet? Like, Is that the Univision logo on the bottom? Univision. But it's would you know anything like to do indoor with it emerging, you got in, in it? Indoor energy control. Hey, Dan, uh, if you got in it, would you know about what to do with it when you got in it? Hey, Dan doesn't with know this? what to do Dan with it when he gets in. Dan never knows what to do when he gets in. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why he doesn't know what to do with it. I know nothing. Why did you even let me up here? What are you doing? <laughs> prank caller, prank caller. Conference rooms? Anybody? You can schedule a meeting. Apparently there's a support training project at 8 a.m. Rad. This one's fun. Who was at ShmooCon in the last two years? Anybody? You remember MS Paint as a service? Yes. Because you can do it over the internet. This is a hotel lobby sign directly connected to the internet that's accessible to the public. What if we made it say something like Ebola outbreak? <laughs> How many shat pants would there be then? All the right? pants. All the pants. All the pants. Um, I am not a ham radio like ultra nerd. I know a little bit. I know enough to make if you real were, ham radio know. nerds angry. But apparently you can run a D-Star, I guess this is a repeater, off a Raspberry Pi. And then you can put it on the internet. 
Does VNC? All right, that's cool. Um, I, I see Brendan shaking his head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Here's another one, another wonderful office. It's the same thing like a hotel lobby, but it's an office directory. That's kind of cool. A, same sort of deal. Um, whose pants do you want to make brown today? What can brown do for you? <laughs> um, anybody familiar with Jenkins, the fun one that has Groovy script with like remote, remote code execution? Yeah, that. But with VNC on top of things, that's kind of cool. You can track boats too if you really want. Um, well, I'm not a boat guy myself, but you know some of you guys might be. Uh, you can watch people day trade. Ooh. This is this is oh, right. Wow. So like you want to get some insider information from some guy who's broadcasting everything to the world, um, or you can watch his solar system capture power. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yay power. Well, this is all. I'm not sure what kind of evil stuff you can do with a solar power system, except maybe like fuck with the lipo batteries if there are lipo batteries, but. I'm not an electrician. Back, that'd be, that'd be Chris. The That's the dude. The back, dude in the pink helmet can help you there. Back to the starting the fires. Holy shit, a guy brought a helmet. It just dawned on me. Like, I was like, I hope you all have helmets. And one guy puts on a helmet. And that dude's prepared. Right? You know Another, just what is this? I feel left out. Um, more hotel up. lobbies. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. This is an office, office building lobby. Um, you know, another, like, let's... Drink. Bleh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> keep going. Oh God! <laughs> All right, so the Echoplex is going to have a bad time at some point. Um, also, for the sake of convenience, you'll see people that um, will put their security workstation, like the type of place you will walk into that has like dudes working a counter that have security stuff happening, and they man all the cameras and the badge readers. Um, say again. You can. Or you can watch them on VNC because it's fucking publicly accessible. Um, or you could, you really, I don't know, I'm not a Redditor, but there might be other Redditors in the room. Here's somebody you can mess with. There's a dude on Reddit that's broadcasting his desktop to the internet. Have fun, guy. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a funny story about these massive diesel generators that also have fucking VNC on them for some reason. Um, a friend of mine uh, did a security audit for a, a power generation company a while back and realized that these things, for the sake of emissions compliance, have urea uh, pumped into the exhaust area. I don't know if it's in the manifold. Sounds like they make did a cream say, for that. What did you, what oh, did I'm you going somewhere with this and you're yes. going to love it. What did you're, you say what it was pumped Urea. That's urea. what I thought you said. Urea. <laughs> right? And, yeah, and similar to another slide I'm going to have later, you can open the valve and fill the exhaust manifold with urea, which drowns the generator. Urea is the key component in urine, and you can literally blast it with piss. <laughs> right? So, four Sounds chance like strikes again. Sounds like this whole weekend. <laughs> you know, or you can actually make it rain, at least for people that are really short. Um, <laughs> sprinklers. Sprinklers on the internet. Um, oh, I did forget one thing. There was the curtains that I didn't put on here. There, yeah, you can find curtains on the internet, too. Like, that's fiendish, I'm sure. No, no, functioning curtains that open and close. Like, computer-controlled fucking curtains on so the internet. Could, so you could open the curtains and then switch to manual mode. Yeah, <laughs> right? Um, but there's this other cool Japanese ham radio chat thing that I found, apparently. You can, like, have... I don't know if they're using ham radio as the backhaul for all the networking, but I, I guess. Um, I was scratching my head a lot. I sadly can't read... Cool, what does it do? <laughs> it lets nerds talk to each other over the internet. It lets, <laughs> holy shit, a thing in Japan that lets nerds talk to each other over the internet? Who, who'd have fucking thought? Maybe, maybe Travis thought about it. I don't know, man, but like, I guess his AVG is cool. Like, it didn't find any threats. <laughs> Dude's sweet ride. I bet he does some cool stuff. So jokes. I ask again, did anybody go to Bruce's talk this morning about risk? Because like... No threats. No, your virus is clear. That's totally cool. I can look at all your pictures of Kiera and somebody else. All right. Also dicks. Um, I don't know if this was on purpose or if this was because, like, management people need to watch Indians shopping for massive, like, networking equipment, but there's that on the Internet, too. That's pretty cool. Um, I also, I don't know what an oil seller is, but I think it might be kind of important, and you may not want to tell the world about them or where they are or how much oil they have and things like that. But, you know, to make anybody... Did anybody do medsec here, medical stuff, work on SCADA, sort of one guy? Check this out. 
Yeah, fun shit, right? You know what you do in the and you're gonna think, you're gonna say, but I, 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 all, the, all the fucking naysayers in the room. Oh no, but it's fucking, it's a fucking demo, Vis. What are you doing? This is bullshit. It's a fucking demo. Do you see that little thing in the little top corner over there on the right? It's a demo. It's a demo, Vis. Fuck you. I found a real one with 16 live hospital pages. <laughs> like, all right, come at me, bro. Like, why? Why? Is, and you know what the fucked up part about this one is? Is this was RDP, not VNC. So like, slightly off tangent. This was the background of the desktop. You know when you RDP into some hosts, it gives you a login window over the background, and you can just drag the background, you drag the login window off the screen, and you see this full frame. So this was like, you didn't even have to authenticate to the box, you just could sit here and watch. That's good. HIPAA, yeah, because, right? And this is another one, fun fact. Tell me these guys weren't compliant. Right? Tell me they didn't spend a million dollars a year on auditors to come in and like fix their shit. Hey, good times. Back, back up one slide. What? That one? Yeah. Now, is it a hospital bed or is it a fucking hospital bed? Ooh. Look Ask heart Amanda. Rate. Heart rate will tell you. <laughs> well, the heart. Wow, the heart. It depends rate's on the low. person. What is that? <sighs> Please spoil everything for me. <laughs> right? Chase you. Woo. So um, this is cool. I can't tell if it's a giant lipo battery, but apparently you can control it from your old iPhone. That's kind of neat. And that little icon in the bottom right hand, the little, the, the little door, this means it's a, t it's a touch panel. You can VNC. And there's a lot of these things on the internet. All the somatic HMI stuff, all the stuff Chris is going to get into, uh, some of it is mine, um, <laughs> is, uh, is all weird bullshit touch panel stuff. Um, these touch panels people buy and put on walls to control things, you can VNC into with a default credential, sometimes no credential. Fun fact. Uh, so this is a, another what appears to be really boring Mac VNC desktop, except not. I need, I'm, like, I'm gonna just take this one, because, and the fun, it's the same fucking guy. If you look at the, if you look at the name of the, <laughs> it's the same fucking guy, right? So now we're getting into threat intel, so where's threat butt? Threat butt, I need you. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> no, that is a personal problem. <laughs> oh. That is a fucking personal problem. That what the? What are you doing? I worked at. Wait, this is Chris's slide. I'm gonna disclose Chris's. His his first slide is a Back to the Future slide, and that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, we're time traveling. He like, doesn't say Windows 98. Oh, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. I got you better. It's not Windows 98, but it's way worse. Oh, and it's, it's dumber too. It's face slappingly dumber. What? No, just just wait. Um, there's more cameras too. So Geovision is a system that does like coax, those little dome camera type deals you see. That's fun. Um, that's cool. But these cameras are really boring. So you can get to this guy's XBMC install and watch movies on his dab, on his tab instead. What's that? Or if you're really bored, you can go to this Israeli pharmacy and order a bunch of crazy drugs and get high. That's fun, right? And then when you're done and you're having a shitty time, you have agua para flushing. Do it. Cheers. Right. Net coffee sounds cool. I'll go after you. I'd sign up for that. I mean, I don't know what it does, but it's got my attention. There's a, really, Counter-Strike? Holy, holy shit, Counter-Strike 1.6, nice! Well, spotted, right? Um, obviously, Poyos, Los Poyos Hermanos, anybody? Breaking Bad fans, right? Good time, yeah. And then speaking of like crazy drug dealing people, here's $300,000. Right on, that's cool. And then here's an Italian something. I don't know. I don't speak Italian. I actually stared at this thing and squinted at it for a good 15 minutes. I have no fucking idea what this thing is. Um, maybe we can tap Chris with it. I know Chris isn't paying attention, but that's cool. What? Ha ha ha, other Chris. We're busy cool. scissoring. <laughs> oh, they're, they're too busy Which scissoring. One? Scissoring over here, sorry. And my camera's over there. You didn't fucking wait. God damn it. I can't count on you people for anything, can I? <laughs> right? Thank you. Is that the Spanish Minecraft sound? Because yes. we have Spanish Minecraft. <laughs> um, Phil kid. is going to have a bad time. Um, but I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't. You're just gonna make you. You make me drink, right? But then again, you know, you can feel better if you just watch a Mender's game. That's cool too. Um, the Italians like letting their uh, what is it? Team viewer licenses lapse on their um, 408 kilowatt uh, hydroelectric generating facility. Um, but you know, maybe you can forget about that by fucking with this guy's sprinklers. <laughs> so, and if you're bored with that dude, there's another hotel. This one's in Oakland. 
if anybody uh, if anybody's from the Bay Area, right? Voltage sensors are cool. I'm not sure what they're connected to, sadly. Maybe there's a camera somewhere I can find that has something like that. Um, or maybe I can print some circuit boards, because that'd be cool. Hey, who wants to hack some shit? You guys want to hack some shit? Get some... Who needs Oday, right? You... Wait, well, there was an attribution talk that happened, right? Did anybody go to Morgan? Morgan and, and Morgan did a presentation with another lady earlier today talking about attribution. Well, we can give them a bad time if you want, because there's like Kali on VNC, oh. publicly accessible on the oh. internet, and you can fuck some oh. shit up that way. And send Morgan for a throw, right? <laughs> um, or you can make some Spanish copies of stuff. So like all the people that were like, oh god, 98, Windows 98, Windows 95, no, Windows 2000, right? It was Windows 2000, somebody else was like, oh no, the Windows 98 is bad. Holy shit. Welcome to my world. It gets worse. It gets worse. Wait for it. Wait. Hold. It's the same fucking guy. Again. Can Hold. you point out the mistakes he made in his evil, evil hacks and his nefarious plot to th overthrow the internets? No? Anybody? La when was the last time you saw System32 on DOS? <laughs> Dell EQ Echo open some IP address, blah, seven, blah, 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 blah. iExplore.exe on DOS? <laughs> really? This is, this is what we call our threat landscape, <laughs> right? This is what we're up against, right? <laughs> I'm going to try and open IE on fucking DOS. <laughs> and what, what will really bake your noodle is why the fuck is DOS available via VNC? <laughs> How did you sort that shit out? It's an SSH tunnel through time. What the fuck? I don't know, I'm just going to print off a bunch of porn on whatever this gi giant ceramic printer is, and that'll make me feel better. I don't know. Um, providential. Adjective. Occurring at a favorable time. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I love it. You can't. It's good. <sighs> this one's good, too. Same guy. I think. I think. Yep, same guy, on a Japanese system, except McAfee is catching his shit. If you, if you, uh, I don't know if you can, can you read it? Maybe? No, it's probably too small to read. But yeah, that's McAfee catching some kid, some skid doing some stuff. And I think this might actually be the same Korean power generation plant, so obviously I need to drink. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, at this point, I don't even, this is like number four. I don't, what? So, <sighs> when people go home after con, there's going to be a lot of shit to play with, right? Um, especially like more blind skitty derp. I don't know who white team is, but they're dumb. <laughs> Either that or they have scripts that are just blindly pasting shit into every open VNC place they possibly can because that's what it looks like is happening. Um, Cubs win, I guess? I don't know. Why would you? Okay, sure. This, this, like I said, a lot of like shouty arm waving, why, what the hell. Um, it's colorful times. Uh, but there's big German reservoirs. Wasserver Orungung? This is why Germans don't play Scrabble. I can't pronounce that. I'm just going to eat right. Yeah, this one does something. I don't know if it's agua par flushing, but I guess we can check. But then there's also ordinary, uh, regular ordinary Swedish mealtime with what also appears to be... It's a show, man. You, didn't, you don't know about regular ordinary Swedish mealtime? No. It's good for you. It's, it's, right? It's good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> but, you know, if, if that distracts you, you can just go back to the day traders again because apparently they're really happy publishing all their shit to the internet in public. Something... If you guys got something, I got nothing. It's measuring it in meters squared. I won't. It's, it's, it's Polish? Yeah. That's cool. Syslog is in English. <laughs> I don't even know. This, I got, I got nothing. It's, is it, isn't that Apple Maps? Right? Is it a map? It, it's a, yes, it's a it's, map. It's, it's Apple Maps. No, it's a fucking potato. <laughs> like, it's Apple Maps bad. <laughs> it's a potato. <sighs> potato. I will see your potato, 
and I will raise you a hot parlor wash. Is there a happy ending? Yes. Okay. How many fans of BSD are there in the room? BSD people? Yeah? How many people think BSD is like the gnarliest, strongest, most awesome operating system that's the most secure? Put your hands down. Yeah? Put your hands down. Here's a hint. What about now? <laughs> Good job, guys. Single user mode. No creds, no security, nothing. VNC. Wow. Right? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> Fun shit. Um, anybody lactose intolerant? Because we can have you <laughs> have a really bad time. Here's a dairy plant. This one does something involving cows. <laughs> Wait, what? what the They're milking horses. <laughs> Won't someone think of the children? <laughs> See the really, really interesting shit? Yeah. I think, I think Chris stuff? has milked a horse before. The really interesting shit is I had no idea that was there. I didn't even notice it. Because when I find this shit, it's like four in the morning and I haven't slept. And I'm just like, look at this bad shit, insane stuff. And then I get on stage and I have like all of you guys to point out all the stuff that I never noticed the first time around. And it's like version two for me. I'm like, this is amazing. Why the fuck is there a horse setting on the dairy milk plant? <laughs> Why is there a bowl setting? The high? I think, I think it's still considered milking. It's not milk. <laughs> No, Cannibal says that it's hides and, this, and not and milk. And this is where your children's milk comes from in their school. <laughs> I said dog or better. Standardized <laughs> salty, salty testing. Milk. That's what that shit was all about. No wonder they were pissed. <laughs> is, this, is this what milk is? I'd be pissed too if they wanted to milk my kids at school. <laughs> um, user genu... I don't know. Whoever, whoever's French in the room can help me pronounce that. But elite three one three three seven X. That's yeah. Good good job. What is it? Gen Yuo. Wait, is that the same guy? Mm, no. Um. Yeah, right. No rag rats. Yeah. So uh, one easy way to catch skids is to leave VNC open and open Notepad. Because they will blindly shove whatever the fuck they have into Notepad, and then you can have it. It's like an ultra poor man's honey. Who knew that Notepad could be a honey pot? <laughs> this is no shit. This is a Notepad honey pot. Holy fuck! Right? Fizz, how much you got left? Uh, I can go faster. Please. Go faster. Let's go faster. Faster. Here's a TV station faster. that hasn't fucking updated their team viewer license. <laughs> Here's another fucking TV station. Here's a goddamn ATM. Why the fuck is there a camera on a goddamn ATM? Why is there, why can I tell it into a fucking hydrogen fuel cell? Mario's gonna shit his goddamn pants when he sees this. He's gonna fucking confess to Luigi that he's been fucking taking shrooms the entire goddamn time. Then he's gonna go turn off the goddamn Lieberts and all the data centers are gonna go down. Right? Ludicrous speed. Then the entire down, the entire city of downtown Copenhagen, give or take a, play, a few places we can shut off for fun. There's an ice rink here that you can defrost if you have the, the minerals for it. The ice rink is under there. Right? Um, webcams? Too expensive. Cheap cell phones? Better. Shady cops tracking you. What the fuck? Pips, autoplay, Google it. Scary shit. Why are they doing that? I don't know. The EFF is investigating. I found a hydroelectric plant. <laughs> breathe, this breathe. No. <laughs> I don't need to breathe. It's too bad Anthony's not here. I, I, my cup is up. He was. He was earlier. Was well, he? No empty yeah. cups. So the, the guy... There's a story with this picture. I'll try and tell it really quickly. I found this. I put it on Twitter. Some guy said, uh, Michael Toaker, who I don't know if he's in the room or not, or even no, here. No, he's, he's not here. Michael Toaker, who I didn't know at the time, was like, oh, no, that's totally legit. And I said, no, look at that fucking art, man. This is a defacement. Some skid did some MS Paint bullshit on some Skata, and now this is owned. And he was like, no, 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 you can let the Java run. And I said, this is your Java, and you want shells on my shit. No. He said, no, no, I promise it's okay. So I spun up a VM, and I ran the Java, and it said megawatts. And I went, oh, fuck. So I put this picture on Twitter, and then the next morning, the DHS called me. <coughs> like, no shit, it was like that. This guy was like, I'm going to have some interesting people call you. I'm like, lol, cool story, bro. Twitter, ha, ah, whatever. 8.30 in the morning, next morning, ring, ring, hi, my, my name is Anthony. I'm calling from the DHS. I'm like, Pfft. It was bad, right? This plant stayed online for like a year. Like, 
I was driving, I have a distinct memory of driving somewhere at least six months after doing this presentation the first time, like three or four years ago. And, and Math, John Matherly is texting me, or not texting, he's on, on, um, DMing me on Twitter. He's saying, that fucking plant is still up. And I'm like, what, which, which one? And he's like, that, the Fumel one. And I'm like, oh, no way. And he links me to it, and it rendered on my phone. And I went, no, god damn it. What? The, you can, what? We have a, a dam in your country that has flooded. If you Google for Barrage de Fumel, you'll find news articles about how this dam has flooded people in the past. They just don't care. They literally were like, oh, we're on vacation, fuck off. They were like, <laughs> no shit, they were on vacation and they didn't want to fix it. So like responsible disclosure kind of works. Kind, responsible disclosure works if, if you disclose to places that give a fuck and this place did not give a fuck. This place I didn't even bother, you know, disclosing to because God damn it. Um, and then neither did this place, right? So we're up to three now. And then there's a, a switching station that is involved. So we're up to four. So like this French, and I give up, fuck it, car washes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There's also speakers, which is really fun. Because you can just send a Rickroll MP3 straight to them and it plays. That's good. <laughs> but how rich do you have to be to have a fridge just for the champagne and have the champagne have an alarm? Right? I want those problems. I don't want these problems. That's CERN. To be fair, they fixed it. This is like two years old. I reported like 200 something of these to their, their uh, cert department, and at first they didn't really shit. They were like, no, but we're this big open system, and we're like, you know, we're for academics and things like that. And I'm like, that's cool, but like, no. Um, I shouldn't be able to see this. And they're like, all right, cool, that's fun. So they fixed it, and it was really cool, yay, sir, and then I found a bunch of ski lifts. And this ski lift in particular is really fucking funny because it's a gondola. You can open the doors, turn on the alarm, and, and I think, I can't remember, I can't read, you know, French, shout at people through the PA. So you can, you can send people up in a gondola, stop the gondola, open the doors, and say, get the fuck out! Like, <laughs> right? Why would you let me do this? Why? Right? But this one is cool. I had a personal interest in this one. Get I found out. a fishery in the Oxford-covered market in England. So I went there and I actually put my hand on it. And that was really cool to find some random bullshit on the internet and then go touch it in meat space. But then I saw something. There's so many jokes there, Viz. There's lobsters. You can fucking control the temperature of lobsters over the internet. There's also swimming pools that have acid tanks that you can control over the internet. What the f why would you do that? I'm going to take a breath. I will, I will exercise George Carlin. And I would like you all to consider the following. Stop putting shit on the internet! Or for fuck's sake, at least count to ten before you decide to do it, right? I'm out. <laughs> Next! Ding. Ding. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that just happened. You made me go first. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he should have gone last. <laughs> God damn it. Why did I just burn all the time? Is there a, uh, yes. audio? Yes. audio? I need audio. You need audio? Yes. How much should I burn? Just see how fast you go through 100. 30 minutes? No, like 45. 45. I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I look better in everything. <laughs> Well, didn't each of you guys have to say like four slides or something like that? Somebody was like, ah, four slides. I got like 18 though. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you have a giant head. I have a fat head. I went through 130 something slides in like 40 minutes. Chris can't find where it goes? It goes right I mean, there, that's baby. That's just my hammer. Don't forget, we got hot sauce. We're at 300, yes. we're at 300 bucks. Only 300? This room is not really full, but still, come on. All right. My name is Chris Sistrunk. Get back in here. Don't leave. And I follow this guy. If, he, if anybody could float, I think he could like just hover around with all the energy that he has. Electro engineer, skated dude, Chris Sistrunk. Let's get cyber physical. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. If you don't recognize that guy, that's uh, Ralph Logner, the Stuxnet guy. Love you, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. If you read the uh, the report on the ba uh, reverse engineering of Stuxnet, he did it. Oh. Very smart guy. Uh, let's talk about 
top 10 cyber physical stunts. First, Side Dragon 1 made planes go sideways. Then Charlie and Chris made a car so go sideways. Okay. What's next? A Deviant Olam and Sergeant Howard Payne making elevators go sideways? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. This is the great glass wonk evader. It's an elevator. It's a wonk evader. An elevator can only go up and down, but the wonk evader can go sideways and slant ways and long ways and back ways and square ways? ways and front ways and any other ways that you can think of. It can take you to any room in the whole factory just by pressing one of these buttons. Any of these buttons. Just press a button and sing. You're off. And up until now, I've pressed them all. Except one. Don't press anything, this. This one. Go ahead, Charlie. Me? Don't click shit, Charlie. There it what is. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, seriously, there's an elevator that goes sideways uh, from Thyssen Krupp. Um, so don't touch it if you find one. All right, number nine. Physical security fail. CASSP. Well, oh, this is like at a, approved. This is at a substation. <laughs> right. And this happens all over the place. Also, uh, we, uh, I've seen uh, where you have all the substations that might have the same lock. Well, a substation had a homeless guy living in it, and he had a key. Um, we have uh, relays in substations, and that's a picture of one. Um, all around the world, in America, uh, there's a picture of an attempt to do port security using a uh, lead meter seal. Yeah, that's real secure. Uh, there's a substation that got shot, Metcalf and Keo in Arkansas, that got set on fire. The one got shot in San Diego, too. Yeah, that's what I was, Metcalf. That's, oh. Well, no, that was a different one. Sorry, that was in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. Pretty serious stuff. So, physical security is a pretty big fail. Baby Jesus. Pretty big, pretty big fail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm gonna keep drinking. Here, all right. Here, here, here. Take. Don't. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. All right. All right. What is this? A it's, raspberry. It's beer. Oh, you got a fancy it's clicky epic. thing. Yeah. I like that. That's fancy. He's got a fancy clicky oh. thing. Okay. Clicky Scans clicky. equals attacks. There's a couple of reports that came out in the news where. Um, Scans from Iran to these uh, company centers and honeypots, and they called them attacks, and then. Um, a, 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 co a colleague of mine uh, was scanning honeypots to test his new uh, NSE uh, NMAP script, and he was from Chattanooga. And there's no, there's a nation state in Chattanooga. His name is uh, To the Hilt. So we have pew pew pew. This is our uh, industrial control system uh, threat butt there with a serial port coming out of his butt. <laughs> Number seven, um, and he kind of touched on this a little bit, smart, smartphone apps that you can control uh, control systems with. What could possibly it, go wrong? Oh, uh, well, I have stories. Uh, <laughs> I have stories of uh, Show things me your going honor. wrong. Uh, uh, a, a, co a colleague of mine um, said that they had to go re-image all these machines at a glass plant and... Uh, what happened was is the owner got a new iPad for Christmas and decided to put one of these Siemens apps on there and uh, decided to configure, maybe optimize some of the PLC settings in the, in the glass plant, and uh, then everything quit working. <laughs> and so she, she had to go uh, re-image all of the uh, machines back to like three years ago because that was the last image they had. <laughs> And I've also seen a, a hospital, you know, every hospital has uh, a generator and they have a water plant. And I, I've seen the hospital uh, uh, plant operator have control over the water plant with a smartphone. So nah, not a great idea at all. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Um, <laughs> number six, anonymous FTP. 
first one, um, me and a couple of other guys, we, we do this in our spare time. We search anonymous FTPs. We found a skate engineer, like me, but not as dumb as me, maybe dumber. Um, he, he backed up his entire work laptop on his home uh, terabyte hard drive. And so what we did was he called him on an anonymous Google voice number and called him and said, um, dude, you got uh, your work laptop backed up on the internet. Uh, you should probably take it off. And he was like, what? Who are you? You had one job. Yeah, that's right. You had one job. You had one job. Don't bring it at home and don't put it on your anonymous FTP backup. And then we also found a city in Florida backed up their entire SCADA system for their electric grid and all the configurations and all the drawings and everything else on their anonymous FTP login. And this is all found with uh, Google, okay? So we called ICS Art and we called them and they finally take it, took it down, but uh, it was pretty serious. Uh, also, we found engineering companies had schematics, projects, all these different control systems, prison control system where you could, you know, let the, uh, the, the control system for the doors open. We also found the Air Force bases and we also found the, like the skiff, like the top secret room where they uh, meet. We found all the plans for those and we reported those in. That was uh, pretty wild. There's all kind of things you can find on anonymous FTP, kind of like what he does with uh, scanning the internet. So. We had this thing on Twitter called, we are the artillery. So all of us have been finding these things in our own time and trying to get them taken down. Poor architecture. Um, any, any rules, anybody? <laughs> There's lots of those in oil and gas. And CISSP, CISSP certified. Yes, any. yes, exactly right. <laughs> so we have lots of problems in industrial control systems not in the electric sector for these, but uh, they still have some failures too. Uh, also, oil and gas and water, they have uh, flat networks. Um, not a very good idea at all. <laughs> and then uh, number four, there's squirrels. That's the number uh, three cause of power outages in some areas. Oh, I have an awesome picture. No, it's not number one. Number one is uh, uh, acts of God like weather. Don't listen to Jericho, okay? <laughs> That's Cyber Squirrel 1, and then there's Mylar Squirrel. Follow those both on Twitter, and they'll tell you all the power outages that's caused by squirrels, rabbits, birds, snakes. I have a picture of a, of a very nasty fried squirrel, like it took down our entire data center. Go faster. Okay, I'll go faster. You got 30 minutes. Vendor excuses, risk accepted. So there's a Twitter account that a friend of mine and I run. Yeah. Uh, so let's, I'll let you read some of these. And these are actual real excuses that we've gotten from vendors after we found vulnerabilities in their stuff. We received a vulnerability report and decided that the best course of action is just to continue this product. We reviewed the proof of concept frame you submitted, but our engineer says the valid endpoint wouldn't send that. The bug wasn't ours, but it was an open source project we use and do not fund or contribute to in any way. <laughs> a backdoor password was discovered in our firmware. We've changed it. Thank you. <laughs> and there's a whole treasure trove of those that we put up on vendor excuses. You can actually send your own vendor excuses to, we have the email set up. And then we have this guy. He already gave this part of the talk, ICS on the Internet. When someone asked how your control system was breached, I, I, Me. Uh. So he found this. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> God damn it, what the hell? Yeah. Why? Can you that to me real quick? <laughs> I found more. But I'm not going to go through all these. I've got this, just a few slides left. We found a distribution like, turbine substation. Turbine pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We found wind the turbines. The milkman is interested in turbine systems. Have you seen the milkman? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. We found a Houston SCADA con uh, data control center where you could go and look at their webcam, and then you could move their webcam, and then someone moved it back. <laughs> and... <laughs> Busted. Yeah, and then they had like DMP3 and Modbus talking from there. So you know it was a real control system. And uh, we called them and told them to take that stuff offline. Uh, I don't always connect my control system to the internet, but when I do, I use IPv6. 
that'll that'll say that'll that's safe, right? And then the number one, um, Skate of Hackers. Uh, that's Jack Daniel. If you don't recognize the guy, uh, his beard is an IOC. We, we had fifteen thousand Skate of Hackers at DEF CON last year, and they went to the ICS Village. I don't know if you. How many people in here have been to the ICS Village yet? Okay, great. That's awesome. Well, we had a whole bunch of people last year. And what do they use to attack this stuff? Burp Suite. That just means that they're not using any of the control system protocols at all. They were trying to attack things that really didn't exist or anything like that. So let's get them on the mod bus. Let's take you guys down to the ICS village. And we even have a cartoon. Uh, I don't know if you follow Robert M. Lee on uh, Twitter. He has a little Bobby uh, talking about mod bus, DMP3, ICCP. So we were teaching these people about the protocols. So we wrote a a uh, script called mod turnt and it you and it turns on the lights you turn up and then you turn down for what and you turn, turn the lights off <laughs> so that's all we have i have some uh, shout outs to uh, adam crane synac pone to the hill reverse ics robert emily achillian mike tucker and da667 all my skater brothers and then my wife who's somewhere here i don't know where she is there she is i love her Faster. Faster, faster, faster. I know. That's what she said. That's oh what she said. Oh, oh, holy I shit, this beard. is terrifying. All right, so. You can do it. <clears throat> Anyways. You want to come up? Any time now. <laughs> This is great. What the hell, Larry? What's that? This is awesome. Someone ring the fail bell for me, will you? There you go. Please. Anybody good with Thank computers? You. <laughs> Larry, you're not helping. Dude, bro, do you need a computer? I'm trying the computer. There we go, yeah. I fixed my shit. Anyways, so, um, when Larry, I got a drink yeah. again? Okay. Oh, that was not my original drink. Okay. So you're in character. Yes, totally. So as you can see, my t I titled mine back to the failure. Uh, thanks to Ill Will for making this slide for me. I really appreciate it. Um, one thing I forgot, though, was... You know, it still says Steven Spielberg and shit, and I don't really Photoshop at all, um, so I just, you know, crossed it off, and there, there's my name. So, um, along with my name, so Chris Hoon, because that is really my last name. Um, I'm a senior technical advisor for Rook Security in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, I consider myself an InfoSec nobody. I have no O-Day. Um, I don't do anything really cool, but I love the profession that I do. Um, certifications, I have none, so we'll just skip over that. Uh, I have no relation to Joe Blow or Curtis Blow. I just want to get that part out of the way right now. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, feel free and go ahead. However, you get to see stupid pictures of me wearing a wizard hat, which goes great with Dan's robe. Um, you see pictures of my dog, or you see pictures of stuff I make food-wise, or you see me drink. Um, usually drink. So, you know, feel free to follow me if you want, though. Let's talk about firewalls, though. Uh, before I talk about that, though, let's talk about Dan's talk that he gave at Layer 1 this year, because um, it kind of relates to what I'm going to talk about, um, at least in my next slide. So um, it's actually a really good talk about failure. So if you want to see even more failure after this, um, I don't think you can get any more failure than me talking up here. But you know, if you want to go, go check it out. It's great. And honestly, I think it's another fail, because I think that link actually goes to uh, the certain time Let's marking see. there. To, uh, you know, go, so you get to see this picture of this like this uh, if yeah, you go to that. Me, wonderful. Yeah, more Dan. As if you didn't take up enough fucking time up here. <coughs> so anyways. Dick, what do you want? Somebody had to say it. Come on. Just give me a break. I am an asshole. Yeah, that's all right. Didn't Dennis Leary do a song on this? He did. That was like early 90s. 
How old are you? No, sorry. Anyways. <laughs> So anyways, um, let's get into some fails. Um, I'm really going to talk about a lot of fails that uh, I've encountered myself over the past 10 years. Um, it's probably more like the last five years. Um, but a lot of these different failures are, you know, 10 plus years old. So, you know, going back to Dan's bit, uh, we're talking about International Call Center here. That's all they do. Just call centers all over the world. Um, they wanted a typical PCI DSS ver version 2.2 pen test, and pen test is in quotes for one good reason. That usually means we want you to run Nmap or Masses, give us a custom report, look into what you act uh, that looks like you did actually more than what was really done. Really means don't touch any of our stuff, but you know go ahead and scan it with Nessus and give us a report and sh show us that you know we're great and that we passed for the year. Um, so. As we continue on, you know, I find out that these firewalls are running at over 90% saturation. I don't feel really comfortable talking, you know, when I'm talking to these guys saying, uh, we're on a scoping call and I'm like, hey, uh, you, do you really want me to do this during the day? And they're like, yeah, it's fine. We do this every year. Go ahead, it's fine. Saturated like moist. Okay, great. I'm trying, I talk faster than, okay. So, you know, we've got this 90% saturation going on and then I do a firewall review on these guys and find out that their OS is at least eight years old, if not older. So between that, um, I took down an entire international calling center by using Nmap. Um, that was great. I dropped over 3,000 calls. They were really pissed off. And I'm like, you told me to scan during the day. And, you know, they, I'm on this call with all these executive people. And they're like, what did you do? And I'm like, I ran Nmap. And everyone just went silent. What could it was great. Go wrong? What could possibly go wrong with that? Uh, but they had logging. Um, and, you know, they had alerts that were set up to look at things like, you know, if a firewall was running over 70% saturation, all of those were disabled. So then we get to the external pen test and we find out they've got open RDP, so that was fun. Uh, they also had MS, MSO uh, 867. Oh, and they had absolutely no DMZ. So with all that being Flat said, networks. domain admin credentials were pretty easy to find. They are very angry with me still. So, uh, moving on. Let's talk about social engineering. So when I think of social engineering, I think of the social engineering toolkit. Thanks Dave Kennedy and all the folks at TrustedSec. Um, I mean that wholeheartedly. Uh, I love that tool with all my heart, and I love uh, what Dave's done with it over the years. Um, Dave Kennedy, he's a great guy. He's awesome. Um, and you get to see him all the time, but when I think of Dave Kennedy, most of the time I usually just think of clowns. I really wish he was in the room, because <laughs> he would be shitting his pants right now and running out the door. But unfortunately, he's not. Now, what's funny about this is I needed to get that, um, that image of the box of Social Engineering Toolkit from his site. So, quick side note, this is what happens when I go and grab that image from his site. Um, and if you want a little more detail on it, you know, it's like, oh, look, this stuff's malicious. You know, there's been malicious things that come from the site or whatever. Um, but, you know, I downloaded it anyways because YOLO sec and you needed to do that, so. Were you using IE? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. So. Um, so for this next one, let's talk about a financial institution when it comes to social engineering. So they wanted me to come in and do an email fo uh, phone social engineering social deal with engineering. them. That was cool. Um, they bragged a lot about how they had a bunch of infosec training, had a bunch of inf instant response training. They were set to go. They, nothing was going to get past them. So we started talking about the scope of the engagement, and they're like, so you're going to do like, you know, just set up like a, hey, get a free iTunes gift card email and stuff, right? And so, you know, they're like, yeah, come at me, bro. And I'm like, and I'm like uh, by the time we actually got to what I was going to do, they were like, holy shit, you can't do that. And I'm like, well, do you want a real test or not? I feel really sorry for the person transcribing this right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry for whoever that is behind the keyboard. I don't know, they probably won't talk back. This is a real person, right? Oh, we already discussed that earlier. And that was in Bruce's talk. So anyways. No, it was a human being. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right there. I'm really sorry that I use the word shit and fuck a lot. Anyways, so. Keeping going. Um, so do a little bit of research and find out that their, uh, op their SSL VPN is just sitting there wide out in the open. Nice little checkpoint SSL VPN, nothing special about it. And so I, um, the place where this hap was happening, it was, uh, they had a bunch of uh, current weather events going on that was like you know, snowstorms and ice storms and everything else. So I decided to put that in an email and put that through a relay and be like, so uh, due to recent weather events, you know, we're going to start having more people work from home. Click on this link, download the new VPN software. 78% rate hit, that was awesome. The best part was not only did I get current passwords, I got their entire password history because people didn't think it worked right. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I got nine slides left. I'm going to be quick. There's a theme or something. There really is, isn't there? Okay, so let's talk about my favorite subject. It's really not, but let's talk about PCI. 
So, you know, PCI, it's great. I just put this slide together. It's a whole bunch of shit on the screen there. Um, but, you know, you got Windows XP because that's pretty much all it is. And uh, apparently you can get this certificate of compliance with PCI, and that's kind of fun, too. Um, yeah, that's a whole fail. Keep hitting that button just through this whole PCI thing. We have a winner. So, let's talk about, that's my Corgi, by the way. So, um, for the top four responses to non-compliance. Number one, it's too hard. I can't put that in your report. Number two, write a compensating control for it. I cannot write a compensating control for the fact that you have a lockout duration of 20, uh, it takes 28 failed attempts before it'll actually lock out your account. I can't write anything up about that. I'm sorry about it. And the fact you do that is really fucking stupid. So then I get, you know, oh, well, QSA last year said it was good. That's great. I'm not that QSA. I'm really sorry, but, you know, I can't accept the fact that whatever this mess is a report that I'm reviewing uh, actually, you know, passed. So... Uh, then they're like, well, we'll just accept the risk. And I'm like, well, that's great too, but I really can't do anything about that. So that's always fun. So anyways, let's talk about, um, let's talk about, a, can I help you? I do not need to drink right now. Yes, I'm trying to do. talk a million miles a minute here. I'm well, trying to keep go. going then. So let's talk about a rental car company, a very big rental car company. Um, I had to be the technical QSA, which by the way, those don't really exist. That's really, which is really fun. Um, so I'm going through all of these credit card, or, you know, they've got all these credit card applications. One of them is this terminal they've got, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, I need all of these T logs, I need all these application logs, sys logs, etc. So, you know, I find credit card numbers in the logs, and I tell the developer, hey, I've got credit card numbers here, and he goes, no, that can't be right. I'm like, well, it's there. He's like, that can't be right. We don't store credit card numbers. I'm like, that's great. I've got them right here. So then we get a little farther, and I'm like, oh, by the way, that's actually track one data in your logs, and I'm like. This is a big problem. And they're like, well, we don't store credit card data. That can't be right. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, but you got them in there. So just to prove his point, I was like, how recent are these logs? He goes, oh, it's from the past, you know, like couple, two or three days. It's like, okay, hold on. So I get a credit card scanner out of my bag, connect it to my laptop, swipe it, same one that I used. It was my track data that I found in those logs. So not only was my track data in those logs, but we, you know, we go back and it turns out there was this poor QA change control process. So um, those had been, um, it had been storing track data for a couple months before they actually shut it off. It took going past a vice president before they would actually admit that they had accidentally stored data. And it was something where they had implemented a new version. They forgot to turn off the debug log function. So that was awesome. Go. I'm going. So I got two, uh, two more things to talk about here. So let's talk about a logistics company. And we're talking about people that do self-assessments. People love doing self-assessments because you can just go through, take this checklist of 12 items and be like, done, 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 we're good. So um, they declined to do any kind of PCI data discovery workshop. That was always fun. So I'm like, OK, well, we're going to have to go off what you say. They say, we've only got six in-scope applications. OK, great. Um, 24 hours later, we find out they've got at least 15. And then they got angry when we were like, we need a change order so we can actually assess your guys' stuff. And it's always great. But there was credit card numbers for everybody, and it was all over the place. And it was in Notepad, it was in the notes on some of these apps. It was fantastic. So, okay, last couple slides. Talking about red teaming. Red teaming is definitely in quotes because every time I do a red teaming engagement, it is never a true red teaming engagement. Um, so let's, uh, let's get past Doc here. Come on. Okay, so we got a retail chain. They want to do a red team exercise performed on some of their retail stores. That was fun. And doing a little bit of Austin, find out that they've got this huge party list that they do for their Christmas party every year, and it's got manager names, store numbers, et cetera. However, a lot of that didn't really help because, as a lot of us know, retail can be a, an employment revolving door. So um, I had no clue what to do for this. And I walk in, and I'm just like, oh, they've got Verifone machines. I'm going to be a Verifone guy. So I go in there, you know, I'm in like polo and khakis or whatever, and I'm like, hey, I'm a Verifone guy. I'm here to check on your new systems and da 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 da. And, uh, you know, I thought I was in the door, so I'm like, rock and roll, let's keep going. So, you know, we keep, uh, I keep going through stuff. I've got a wonderful Pony Express power strip and a couple other things in my backpack. I'm like, I just need to replace the UPS that you guys have under your desk. Um, do you mind if I go behind the registers there and connect stuff in? They're like, sure, no problem. Um, well, the problem was that place was a cellular dead spot in the certain mall that I was at. I couldn't get AT&T, Verizon, you name it, I couldn't get a single cell phone signal to, to save my life. So that was great. However, I did find a mobile terminal. Those are fun. They're even more fun when the passcode is the store number, which I'm sure nobody is shocked at. So um, as I keep going back and changing out all these cellular cards, um, eventually the knock calls me and they're like, 
uh, well, they call the store and they said that all their POSs were going down and coming back up, going down, coming back up, what's going on? And they decided to talk and say that a Verifone guy was on site who was being very friendly and helping out. And that's when I started to cry and you know, it was like, well, this might be game over. I got out of there without having to show the little get out of jail free card, but still, that kind of sucked. So, last two slides. Um, and I really can't make this shit up because this is a uh, failure not only on the company's part, but more so on my own. So uh, I went to go do some work for an auction company, do a lot of stuff with automobiles, pretty much anything with a motor, do a lot of stuff with memorabilia, anything like that. And uh, the best part was I couldn't get in the front door. The woman there, I went in there, as that picture shows, as an exterminator. Um, and she's like, we've been using XYZ exterminator for 30 years. Who the hell are you? I was like, shit. <laughs> this has never failed before. I didn't really, wasn't expecting that. So... Um, I ended up, I made up this big story about, you know, oh, I'm a contractor, da 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 and, you know, we kept going on, back on and on, and uh, they never let me in, but um, I went around to the back door, that was open, and, you know, just kind of went wherever I wanted from there. I did that to all three sites. So, um, PII was everywhere, and I'm not talking, I never even had to plug a computer in. Um, they had photocopies of driver's licenses, photocopies of car registrations, photocopies of people's credit and debit cards, photocopies of checks, photocopies of anything you could imagine. Now, granted, I would have to take a large duffel bag in there in order to get this shit out, but it was very easily accessible, and no one would have been the wiser. Um, the bad part was when I got to the debrief, and that was the next week, and I was like, hey, you know, look at this, I owned all this shit, and I didn't have to even connect a computer, da 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 And they were like, wait, go back to that first one for a second. Did you make it to the second floor? And I'm like, no, no, that was right behind the receptionist desk and she wouldn't let me in. They're like, our office is on the second floor. <laughs> you just owned one of our, comp uh, one of our competitors' companies. <laughs> it took every ounce of me not to say the word yeah. fuck on that phone call. <laughs> so, um, you know, not only is there failure still in, you know, InfoSec in general, but um, I'm still a dumbass myself. So, getting off the stage here, but, um, you know, if you guys, like I said, you want to follow me on Twitter, go right ahead. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, feel free to email me. Thank you very much. to dance, right? It's intermission music. Depending on how much money you put up in this charity jar. <laughs> Is there like an unventilated can of varnish somewhere what? near Chris? What? No, he's always like that. <laughs> we'll all dance. Money for you, money for, where's Will? Oh, he dances for no money. How much money have we raised? Not enough. Come on. $650. You are lame. Let's get it to 1000 Come on. Lame. It's cancer for fuck's sake. Come on. Why is everybody leaving? What the fuck? people that donate money and they leave. Come back. Come on. I swear my part will be way better than theirs. Come on, stay. We know how to computer, kind of. Who told you you could eat my cookies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. That's some hot stuff. I can smell it all the way over here. <laughs> Do I need some more intermission music? Everybody else, if you assume. Are we good? Note: I'm tempted to make fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? All right. So originally, when uh, Larry uh, got me to do this talk, uh, he said it was going to be a Noel's holds barred type of talk, where we could just talk shit about everyone. Um, and then I found a couple special snowflakes that kind of shot me down. So I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Originally, I was going to do like a, a, an offshoot of the joke, the aristocrats, to start off with. I feel um, so bad that Amanda is following this. And, is, and there, is there Ode in here somewhere? Cause like, I hear you can't speak unless you like drop an Ode on stage. Or is that Black Hat? I'm fucked. Might be. So originally, the, uh, the, the first line of the joke went, um, a gender-fluid social justice, justice warrior uh, named Caitlin walks into Iron Geek's office and asks for a raise. And I was going to snowball it from there. Um, <laughs> uh, boo. 
Uh, so who I am? Oh, there's the hammer. I'm Ill Will, a professional IRC troll, uh, IT consultant, and I also run a nonprofit hackerspace. <laughs> um, I don't have any certs, because fuck certs. Yeah. And I'm black hat as fuck. Woo! Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> beep, beep, Sorry, beep, bro. beep. You don't have the cricket. No. So um, when I started off with computers, I liked to have fun. Um, me and my crew, we, uh, we used to roll around. We brought you the world of uh, Paris Hilton. Oh, wait. Um, oh, shit. And I'm sorry for that, because uh, it's like opening Pandora's box if Pandora's box smelled like herpes. <laughs> um, hey, Larry. We also yes. brought you the world of uh, Fred Durst's so O-Face. If you can burn that image out of your mind. <laughs> I thought that was you. I thought that was you, too. So unfortunately, that brings a lot of attention to yourself. So I, I did get in some trouble at some point. Um, when you do get in trouble, um, you get arrested. And you think it's fame and fortune, and you can talk about bullshit stuff like Mittnick all day. But you just get a shitty movie made after you. <laughs> so, um, so basically, this is going to be talking about doxing. Um, so one of the famous fuck-ups was like Russ from Silk Road, um, who got caught because he basically posted on uh, Bitcoin forums and some other shit with his own email address and then decided to start up Silk Road. What Not scrubbing all this shit after the time, because everything that goes on the internet stays on the internet. Tell me about it. <laughs> Another fuck-up <laughs> is this big snitch, Sabu. Um, he was doing pretty good until he logged on to IRC using his own IP address, forgetting to turn on tour. In effect, getting this guy in trouble. So he had pretty good OPSEC. Unfortunately, he trusted a snitch. Um, and also his <laughs> password for his computer was Chewy123. So um, you have all the encryption in the world, the tour, but if you fuck it up with an eight character password, you're fucked. PowerPoint.exe has crashed. Uh-oh. Wah, wah. There we go. So raise your hand if you think your email address is in this dump. <laughs> Wait. How many of you people shit when you heard that one out? Um, yes, yes, but not for that reason. <laughs> so basically, um, you know, there's 50 million users on there. Um, if you break it down, there's uh, a couple thousand um, federal, state employees, FBI agents, and I saw A employers. Um, that all have nudes, uh, all the girls that they're talking to. And uh, so when that shit gets leaked, you don't want it to leak. Um, iCloud was another, another big one over the past year. Um, you know, from all the, all the celebrities over the past years that were hacked into, they still don't learn uh, to, to trust the cloud with all their nudes. Um, normal people fuck up too. Um, so this, this goes, this isn't any celebrity stuff, this is just stuff I come across in my day-to-day -day job. Come across, um, well. Let's see if I can get this thing to, to play. <laughs> just wait for the audio. <laughs> How come it's not playing? Oops. Describe it for us, Will. Tell it to us in Braille. We, 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 can, we can probably... Uh, uh, here, here, let, let's, let's see, hold on. Let me, uh, let me get the audio. Now, if any of you can recognize this sound, please shout it out. <laughs> Larry's constipated. This was you passing a kidney stone this afternoon in the lobby. No. And this wasn't the Bally's pool last night either. Oh. Whoa. Oh, snap. We got five minutes. All right. Um, that was actually, I was working on a, a client's laptop. They had brought it into me. Uh, it was in standby mode. And it's still going in the background. <laughs> um, they brought it in. It was locked. They didn't give me a password. Um, I'm, wa I'm working in an office full of uh, a bunch of people. And that goes off. I had no way to shut it down other than shutting it down. Um, another OPSEC fail. Um, when you bring your computer into to somebody to fix, do not have a, a folder la labeled my escort site on top. <laughs> and in the other folder, classroom material for kids. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fail. So I had this other, um, this other lady bring in a laptop. Uh, she had brought it into me, uh, had powder all over the, the, the laptop, the keyboard, everything. Thought it was a weird thing. Um, she had a user profile that was messed up, uh, fixed it. She said her kid had messed it up. So I, I said, okay, well, I'll turn on the guest account, and that way your kid can't mess it up. She brings it back two days later. It's messed up again. Fix it. She's complaining that she shouldn't have to pay again because it was broken. So about three days later, I get an ass dial at three in the morning from a phone number. So me being curious, I Googled it. The Google uh, search had pulled up her phone number, which led to an adult baby service. And it wasn't actually her kid. It was her adult uh, baby diaper guy. So if you're going <laughs> to... If you're gonna use the phone numbers for all that stuff, don't leave it anywhere. Adult baby guy. It's a thing. Guy. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a total yeah. thing. Mm. Google image that shit. Amanda's into it. You can just talk to her after this. Oh! Hush. Come on. What the hell? Fuck, dude. <laughs> Go! So, <laughs> so the last thing is uh, gonna be like healthcare. Um, for uh, my, my, uh, my wife's mother-in-law had bought a laptop at a, uh, at a flea market for 50 bucks. She called me up and said, hey, I need a password uh, removed from it. I just bought this laptop. So me being curious, I booted it up and it tried to log on to a major healthcare provider. Um, for the provider itself, um, as you know, you can get the MS cache password and kind of log into stuff. So instead of just removing the password, I decided to crack it. That led me to, uh, to get onto the, the Citrix um, framework for them to log into their server. Uh, they were courteous enough to, um, to basically let me uh, get onto their main uh, domain controller from a link on the desktop. Um, so, of course, me being curious as I am, um, I had donned my hacker mask and started searching around. Um, not only were they courteous enough to leave their remote desktop link on their desktop, they were also courteous enough to leave an Excel spreadsheet with every single user password, every single Wi-Fi password on the box. Now, I did that in 2003. I checked again about 10 years later, and I was still able to log in with the same username and password, and all the same stuff was there. I did, uh, I did see somebody at B-Sides Boston last year that actually worked there, and I let him know that I had owned his whole network, and I gave him all the information, gave him my card. I checked again right before uh, today, and everything's still not changed. So this is just a shout-out to one of my buddies here. Um, of course, when I got in trouble uh, for OPSEC, there was, uh, there was somebody that contacted me a few months ago that got me into all this stuff. So I just wanted to say hi to Dan, if he's in the audience. Crickets. <laughs> Good job, mm, nope. And also, uh, if you're any type of uh, CSI, CSIIP, or CSSP, uh, like Boris, um, last time I seen him, I don't know if he's here, uh, last time I seen him at the, uh, the QueerCon pool, um, sweat and vodka. Um, but just to let you know, everything that you put on the internet stays on the internet and someone's gonna find it eventually. So I had to rush through this because we only have like 10 minutes left, so we're I good to go. I have seconds. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? <laughs> They're supposed to just work, Match right? Can you see it? Hey, you did better right, than me. Yeah. Sweet. All right, I have like 30 seconds, so this is going to be awesome. First time speaking at DEF CON, I don't have a drink, so I'm not sure how that works. Done. Chug it. Sweet. No. Count mm. it. I hate beer. That's horrible. All right, so a little bit about myself. I'm going to talk some about uh, a healthcare provider that I worked at, an ISP that I worked at, and a little small time that I spent in education. Oh, I'm not, sick. I'm sick, though. Not beer. Alcohol. You're so gonna get content. Drink. It's self-sterilizing. It's alcohol. Very good. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> so my name's Amanda Berlin, Info Sister. Um, I have my fan club, like in the first couple rows. So. Woo <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, 
I've been doing uh, blue team stuff for a long, long time. Worked in healthcare for a while. Windows admin, that kind of stuff. Fixed a lot of shit. Um, next. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Okay. Uh, <laughs> still doing um, some hot sauce for charity. That isn't charity, as far as I know. Um, so get up here and give some money. Thank for you rants, for those who've amazing. given already. That's awesome. <laughs> And a little bit about me, adult supervision required. Um, if you hung out with me at any point in time, um, these guys can probably vouch for that. Yes. Yeah. Run. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be up here on this panel. Um, this is one of my favorite kids' movies. Um, I have three little boys at home. Uh, not, getting, not so little anymore. But this kind of explains pretty much Blue Team and Red Team. Um, yeah, Red Team is just cooler, but fuck it. I've been doing Red Team for 10 years. And it's a lot of fun. So just wait for the yeah wait for the next slide. Uh, cover your ears if uh, cover your eyes if you're squeamish. <clears throat> oh, that's a that's a CISP. <laughs> that's a thing. Right? That's a thing. That is yeah. That's what you have to do to get your CISSP. I think. Right. Um, Describe the CIA <laughs> triangle. He got forked. <laughs> a little bit of preface. Uh, everything that I mentioned has been fixed already, so don't try and go fuck up my previous employer because I really still do like them. It was one of the best jobs I ever had. Got a lot of experience. Um, wouldn't be where I am today without them. Um, so imagine walking into an environment that um, there's, there's absolutely no help. The network engineer has been there for you know, 10, 20 years. A uh, complete asshole, didn't know anything. He took an MCSE course just to get up the ladder. Um, the, the, uh, the network grew with him, you know, they, they switched to an EMR, they completely uh, uh, digitized everything, and he had no other knowledge other than the one-week MCSE boot camp that they took. Um, and they knew things were bad, he was, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm a self-proclaimed sexist, but he was really bad, so uh, not really uh, involving InfoSec fail, but I was pregnant when I was working there, and this dude came up and said, every time that I see you, you're eating. You must have an oral fetish or oral, fixta oral fixation with me. Ah, fuck off. Uh, so he, he got fired, um, surprisingly, but they actually were scared to fire him because he, knew, he, he supposedly knew so much about their uh, infrastructure that they didn't want to fire him because they weren't sure what exactly would happen if he left. <coughs> um, I got there, we started out with everybody in the entire department as a domain admin. 40, 40 or so people, anywhere from help desk to directors uh, to software administrators to the people that actually needed it and actually knew what the fuck domain admins were. Um, and it just, we dove in and we finally realized what exactly was happening. So a couple things that we didn't have. Didn't have antivirus on anything. Servers, workstations, nothing. Welcome what to my world. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Um, had no WSUS, so we had Windows 2000 servers that hadn't been patched in four years. You know, no big deal. Fifteen years. Like, wait, wouldn't, didn't, doesn't that get into, like, Windows 2003 server territory? We had a couple server 2003s, yeah. Hot yeah. shit. It was in 2008. No biggie. Um, we had a decent data center. Uh, there were water lines piped above them for the fire, uh, fire suppression system for our entire data center. Uh, yeah, uh, we had open ports everywhere in the hospital. Um, we had no idea what was in our environment. This was after we spent about 40 hours cleaning it up. We had, and this isn't really infosec, but holy shit, like just cable fail. 700? <laughs> We're up to $700, by the way, everybody. Yes, nice. Yes, keep coming. Come on. Lance is going to get his... Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying. Go faster, I try. Amanda. I try. Go faster. I'm trying. Sorry. I have like 10... Like, I'm, half to, I'm halfway done. Two minutes. Okay. Oh, my God. It's first talk ever. We know Larry can go in two minutes. All right. So we had no backups at, at all. We, we were running a fucking hospital. Uh, 500 beds. You know, 2,000 employees. No backups at all. Um, had no DMZ. Not only did we not have a DMZ, um, our production website was on a Windows 2003 box uh, who was dual homed 
one, access, one, one had a public IP address to the internet, just straight plugged into it. The other IP address went to our internal network because the, it, it had to have access to that because the SQL backend was on our domain controller. Oh. We just accepted the risk, right? Yeah, we accepted the risk. It was what fine. Could possibly go It was on? fine. We were compliant. Risk it was great. Risk accepted. Yeah. Um, not, not, only, not only was that on our, on our domain controller, we also had the, um, uh, our, our public Wi-Fi. Actually, that's where the DHCP came from. That Wi-Fi had no password. I actually had a lady call me up when I still worked in the help desk saying that her internet wasn't working um, down the road. So some, some old lady just called up. She thought for some reason it was our help desk. We had like a splash page up to call the help desk. She called us, let us know her internet wasn't working. I'm sorry, that's not really supposed to be your internet, but it, it was. She had no idea. Cyber. Cyber. Right? <laughs> right? Um, so if anybody's in healthcare, this is a cath lab. This is one of my, fa <laughs> one of my favorite stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, they do some Here's stuff with like heart cath things where they open you up and do, and, and do certain things. Wait, um, yeah, right. They um, actually had, are you going to pull me off stage? No. Good, get the fuck out of here. Go, go. <laughs> go. go. I'm, done. I'm almost done, I swear to God. <laughs> Next time I'm going first. Fuck this. So um, we, had our, we had our operator call about, about massively fast locking out Active Directory accounts. We actually had to write a script that would re-unlock the Active Directory accounts because the cath lab vendor shipped us something. Guess what was on it? Root? Huh? Dogs. Enterprise admin access. <laughs> Shells. Um, the porn that the CEO watches. <laughs> a variety of colorful dicks. <laughs> Conficker. Conficker. Conficker, welcome to my <laughs> world. <laughs> That's better than a bunch of colorful dicks. Holy shit. Forerunner technology. So, so they, yeah, so they shipped us with Conficker. Um, it completely... We got, a really, we got a really good discount on this I software. Know, I know. Really good discount. Because we swore we would never say what their name was. Um, when they shipped it to us a second time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoever's transcribing this week. I'm so, so sorry. All right, so we also had MS, MS 08067 everywhere, Configure, which I already mentioned, and Windows uh, 2000 and XP. Yes. No big deal. This was actually a water fountain in, uh, that wasn't supposed to be a water fountain, was actually attached to our boiler. Something happened with our power. The squirrel that I mentioned earlier took out power to our entire data center. See, I told you. And, and <laughs> I'm really scared this dude's behind me. He's going to fucking throw me off stage. He's Canadian. <laughs> He's Canadian. He's so sorry. Five more left. Five no. a.m. Literally, literally, I walked in at like 9 p.m. at night. There was a five fucking foot water spout coming up in the where our where our um uh where it term like where our fiber terminated. Every I mean, it had our core switches. It had every. I mean, it was. It, I had to daisy chain a UPS and actually put it on that ladder so it didn't didn't get fried by the water that was spouting up in the corner. Best alerting system ever. Yeah, best alerting system ever. Uh, we had no monitoring, so best aler best alerting system ever was our APCs. Anytime you did an end map scan, it would just send us an email for every single fucking one. Uh, I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> so I have some personal fails. Whoa. Yeah, sorry. Not. I don't have any personal massager fails. That's a whole nother talk. Okay. Lies. <laughs> um, if you mass scan a Fortinet. It's a really bad idea. Um, I've done it. It's I, colorful. It is very colorful. Kind of takes down the entire school system. Yep. And everybody that you manage. Yep. So and and checkpoints, which I probably shouldn't say because I kind of yeah yeah. Firewall. Next generation, great. Okay. So last slide, thank God. Um, I actually did a phishing ex, um, exercise to train the users in the um, in the hospital I was working at. Went really well. I have a whole other talk on it. This one was amazing because as soon as I sent this out, I got. I mean, a little bit later, I had a lady contact us and let us know that she really didn't appreciate it because she had to cancel her PayPal and Kohl's card. Wow. I felt really bad. 
So I actually sent this out as a fish. Um, and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Great. Sorry.